set, go. Smart panel, smart bar, smart training, there you are. Customize, make it right. AI, form it by. Super set, we'll show you what it's all about. It's a total workout. Welcome to the Superset Podcast, episode 49. This is Crystal O'Keefe. And this is Tom O'Keefe. Hi. Hi. So we should probably talk a little bit about the fact that um, you <laughs> ran in Big Sur. Or yeah. walked in Big Sur. Not to disparage you. No, but you, no, you're absolutely. the first one to point that out whenever anyone says you always are very self-conscious about I that. absolutely am and uh yeah uh, for anybody who's braving the youtubes i look pretty terrible today because i put zero makeup on because <laughs> i'm gonna go to a massage directly after this <laughs> yes i'm surprised you could walk with the way your feet are so blistered <laughs> they are terrible i mean it is bad it is bad it's actually i think in some ways worse than when i did the entire marathon on my treadmill just because these are on the the bottom of my feet and the yeah. ones with the treadmill they were on the side so ah. i could still walk yeah um they looked awful but i could i couldn't put them in shoes but i could still get around right these are on the bottom of my feet so it's more blister than foot every time i walk it's like ow 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 ow, ow, ow. <laughs> yeah there's yeah, there's no sneaking up on people your days as a ninja are over they're over they're over yeah but hey uh 12 weeks to the day after being hit by a car i did that walk yes you 21 did. miles so yes. i'm very proud of myself and we should say with the strongest headwinds in the history of big sur yes yes 25 it, mile an hour headwinds it was all over the newspapers in big sur because it was so bad i mean yeah. at one point we were going around a mountain and i literally thought i was going to be flown like just thrown right off of it like, yeah. it was tough uh yeah it was it was tough there was a lady that um so uh dr jen went with us and um she was doing the walk too she was on her way back today and she said that she was on the plane with somebody who has done big sur every Every year and they were a full hour slower wow. this year because of the wind that's yeah. crazy i know isn't that crazy yeah yeah so so then of course dr jen turned that into wow i wonder how much faster we could have been without the wind let's do it again <laughs> i was like okay we're not planning anything till my feet stop being yeah. blistery <laughs> you're like how do i get my cell phone to make a dial tone noise <laughs> New phone, who dis? Yeah. That's something kids will never know. I the know. whole like hanging up somebody. <laughs> like it's when that happens in shows, they have to just wonder. Like, because sometimes you'll see it in a show where someone will, like, because they don't know what else to do to signify someone else is hung up. Yeah. So someone will hang up a cell phone <laughs> and then the person on the other end gets a dial tone. And I'm like, when is the last time you've heard a dial tone? It's not a thing. It's not a thing no. anymore. <laughs> so, uh, well, uh, congratulations and Thank well done. You. Thank and you. If anyone's curious, no, I didn't do any of it. <laughs> no, but uh, but Tom was an incredible support person. One, he got me custom bib boards with the clip out logo on them, and yes. not only for me, but the two people I was I was walking with. And uh, he was at the finish line. Well, filmed of filmed me coming over the finish of line. I'm going to be at the finish line. No, not all uh, not all spouses do that, and it meant a lot to me that so. you did. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. So. Uh, well, what, pray tell, do you have on the show this week? Well, I'm really excited because we have an interview with Coach Akeem, and uh, we are going to talk all about a new program he has coming up. Actually, two new programs he has coming yeah. up. Lots of really fun stuff. Plus, we have a lot of tonal news. Uh, the tonal, the new tonal CEO, also a crystal. Uh, yes. She sent out a message this week. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about celebrations, what's going on with the gear shop, um, and some other things that are in the news as well. Awesome. Well, before all that, shameless plugs, don't forget we're available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, iHeart, TuneIn, wherever you find a podcast you can find us while you're there <laughs> be sure and follow us so you never miss an episode maybe leave us a review that's always helpful and we greatly appreciate it uh you can also find us on facebook at facebook.com slash superset podcast and you can watch these shows in their entirety on our youtube channel youtube.com slash the clip out which is the name of our other podcast but these episodes live there as well so um there's all that let's uh let's dig in shall we we shall look who's talking about tonal so not too long before recording, the new CEO of Tonal, Crystal Zell, uh, put out a, a statement, an email to all Tonal members. I know that because it says, dear Tonal member. 
That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm very astute. And she talks about the fact that she's going to be working closely with Ali Arati, and I'm really glad to see that, uh, and that they're going to be focused on developing product features and dynamic workouts that leverage coaches. So obviously, we're wondering, hey, what is that exactly going to be? Well, yeah. there's new formats. There's more content from featured coaches. And they gave the example of Tony Horton. That means more Tony Horton is coming. Look at that. And industry leading performance and sport nutrition professionals like Stacey Sims. So we could be seeing more Stacey Sims. Yay. <laughs> and Brad Schoenfeld, which is really exciting because that means hypertrophy, guys. Ah. He is the king of hypertrophy. And that's coming in the in the next couple of weeks. I'm sorry. That's coming in the future. Also, in the next few weeks, uh, Crystal will be participating in a tonal talk within the tonal community to address consistent themes and questions she has been she has seen that have been raised by the members. Date and time will be announced. So I'm really looking forward to this. I can't wait to see how she responds to members because uh, it is no secret that a lot of people are really upset about uh, the fact that the original West Coast coaches or West Coast coaches are gone. (laughs) And um, and a lot of people feel like Tonal needs to uh, address that directly. I don't know whether they will will or not, but um, well, you also have to wonder at this point, like other than. Ta-da, we've brought them all back. What what will stop people from saying it? Like at some I, point, I don't you're just think, not getting your way. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> it's very clear people aren't going to get their way at this point. But I also just can't help but wonder, will there be any kind of just here's what happened? You know, here's right. here's why things happened the way they did, because yeah. I think that's the last bit of hope that people are holding out, that they'll at least have an explanation. Right. Um, and other than financial reasons, I don't think they're going to get one. But I'm curious to see if I'm wrong. For sure. The OTC hit 50,000 members last week. Yeah. Well, I think they actually hit it a little bit before that. But okay. what's going week, s- s- <laughs> But what's going on with this is that this week in the OTC on May 3rd at 7 p.m. Eastern, there's going to be a celebration with games and all kinds of other things happening. So want to make sure that we point that out because that's really cool. It's uh, it's nice to have something to celebrate. And 50,000. 50,000. Oh, you know what, Tom? I just realized I was wrong. You know what I was thinking? What? I was thinking of the 500, the, the 5 billion pounds, 500 billion pounds or whatever we had lifted. That's what I was thinking had happened already in the past. Ah. So I don't know when we hit 50,000 members. Okay. So uh, that's totally on me. Either way, we're celebrating 50,000 members <laughs> in the OTC this week. Uh, and we're celebrating it in the OTC. May 3rd, 7 p.m. Eastern. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> it's so rare that... That, that, I, I, that I misremember something. That you misremember and then ad- admit it. So I'm gl- admit, I always admit I'm, it when I get it wrong. I'm glad we were recording. Oh my god! So I can make this my ringtone. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> there is uh, an update in the gear shop. Yeah, so people who have been kind of watching have noticed that the gear shop has been closed for a while. Uh, it is now open. Uh, however, they Tonal has made the decision to move away from selling branded gear, and they're going to focus on offering products that instead elevate your workout experience on Tonal. So things like the T-Locks, which is going to be a pack of four, wide mount covers, and accessory shelves. Uh, those will be available in matte black, coffee oak, and light aged ash. Um, My hope is that as time passes and financial viability has been restored, (laughs) that maybe this will come back because I really enjoyed having the tonal branded clothes. And I hope that that that's able to come back at some point. Yeah, I guess that's difficult to manage from an inventory standpoint, Absolutely. right? Like, cause it's like you have to have all these different sizes and then you never really know what's popular until it's actually there for people to purchase. And if you guessed wrong, now you got a bunch of stuff sitting there. Well, I think also from just a, the way business works standpoint, um, that if you're not like everything's not perfect in the financial world and, yeah. I, and Tonal's made it very clear they're they're trying to get back to that. You want to always stay with like what you know best. Right. And so this is another this is another stream of income. If it's not if you're not doing perfectly, probably not the best to keep another one. That makes sense. Yeah. Mashable put out a list of best fitness mirrors and uh, Tonal made the list as well. They should. They did. They did. Um, so uh, a couple things about this. One, uh, Tonal is not a mirror. 
Um, I know. I I feel like they were struggling with how to write this headline, especially when one of the products is called Mirror. It's it's kind of uh, what's a nice way to say shit. I'm gonna go with shit. <laughs> headline to put out there to be like because it, it it implies that they're the leader and I, I really don't think that that's accurate oh it's definitely not i mean if if it were would would lululemon be looking to sell it right uh but but here's the thing it's not even it's not even truly a competitor to tonal right yeah like because you're not even using i mean you could use free weights if you want it right uh they do have classes that do free weights but other than that it's not a strength device i mean right. uh the the tempo studio that i get uh even the form studio eh, but i get it like i get why they would compare that but yeah but like tonal is totally different because it's focused completely on strength and then they also have other workouts that you can do right. like it's its main purpose is to be strength the may community challenge is upon us it sure is. And uh, so this one is going to be led by Tim Landicho. And uh, he is having a Facebook Live event. Um, well, by the time you hear this, he will have had <laughs> a Facebook Live event on Wednesday. Um, or I guess it's tonight because this was posted yesterday. So today is Tuesday at 7 p.m. And uh, it's going to be going over basic concepts so like stress, um, simple tools for habit change, and how to set yourself up mentally for success for the next four weeks for those of you doing the four-week bar- barbell burner challenge. So that's what the name of it is. It's the far wor- four-week barbell burner. That is quite a mouthful. Yes. Uh, and He's it's gonna, a fan of alliteration. Yeah, he is. And it's going to be focused focused on movement, form, mobility, recovery, etc. So uh, I think that's really cool. And the other benefit of being able to go back and watch this if you don't get to watch it live is that since May is Mental Health Awareness Month, we're going to be they're going to be opening up to everybody in the community, not just the people who are doing the May Community Challenge. So that is really cool. Uh, I'm really glad to see that they are kind of looking into stuff like that and you know, mental health awareness and things that you can do, things to avoid for stress and how to keep things under control when you are stressed. I think that's really cool. For sure. New tonal content. There's a new set of custom by tonal workouts for people to uh, custom. No, to do. To do customly. <laughs> so uh, this they have a new set, and these are from Coach Joe Radonis. They are all muscle building workouts in the Ultimate Series, and you can find all of them and. In these and any of the custom by tonal beta workouts by going to explore workouts filter format and then selecting custom by tonal um, I still have not got a chance to try these but I keep hearing absolutely glowing reviews that like if you're looking for a workout that's focused on chest that people are just like this is the best chest, chest workout on tonal like right. bar none so I think that's really cool and I'm glad they have them because then it becomes like this uh, what do you call it? Like a, it's there all the time. Yeah. What do you say whenever it's something that happens? Evergreen. Evergreen. Evergreen <laughs> workout. So it's great to pop in and do between workouts or between programs rather. This is a good one to do. So very cool. Oh, well, I'll have to keep that in mind because I, you know, me and my, I, I love my programs. But sometimes if like we're getting ready to go out of town or something and the program ends and we've got like two days, I don't want to start a new program to then not be able to do it again for a week. So exactly. These will be perfect for you. In case you missed it. One of our past guests was featured on the Tonal blog. Yeah, Travis Gartner. He was uh, featured in the January member stories campaign. And uh, it's all about just kind of all the things he does on tonal how he uses it what works what doesn't why it works uh he is a pro hand cyclist and i mean just people who are built like this just amaze me it will never not amaze me that yeah. like oh i have this problem that i i'm different from everybody else watch this life i will kick your ass and yeah. then he does and he's just incredible so really cool and if, if you watch this and you're not inspired to do something i i don't even i have no idea how to inspire you then <laughs> <laughs> i really don't yeah. like I mean, it's just it's just amazing to be like oh adversity Huh, that's nothing. Yeah. Watch this. Suck it, adversity. There you go. <laughs> Checking in with the Tonal Community. Joining us today via the magic of ZoomTube is 
your newest tonal instructor? I yeah. yeah. Yes, I've done the flow of who's... It is. I haven't checked. I haven't talked to HR. <laughs> so, but it's it, Akeem as Evans. As we know, I am the newest to the team. Thank you so much, guys. It's a pleasure <laughs> to meet you and see you. Well, it is, is a pleasure to have you here. I, I'm curious, like, what your background is in fitness and, like, how you ended up at Tonal? My background in fitness is such a broad question. I feel like all of our careers are kind of like Tom pounded. So let's start at the beginning. Okay. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Extremely long story short, I started off as a personal trainer, one-on-one, and I started off at uh, Equinox. And at Equinox, I broke the record for having the most sessions ever in a month. I did 235 sessions in a month. And then uh, it kind of gave me the confidence to branch out on my own. Um, after that, after going to Equinox and kind of starting my own business, I got up, got picked up by another company called Aptive. Um, Aptive was a audio based training app where you simply plug in your headphones and the trainer will guide you through a workout. Yeah. And I thought it was a complete joke when I first first heard about it. <laughs> but then when I had people all across the country and the world reaching out to me saying, hey, thank you for training me yesterday while I was sleeping, I said, oh, wow, this is this is pretty cool. You know, um, after that, I got into group fitness training. I moved to Denver during the pandemic and oh. another company was uh, kind of like specialized in cardio and conditioning and it was very audio, well, musically based. And that was also a lot of fun. But what brought me back to New York, which has been home for a very long time, was Tono as being one of the new instructors. So I guess in my career, I've done a little bit of everything, whether it's one-on-one, group fitness, whether it's virtual or in person. And uh, yeah, that's the very short version of the long story. So did they reach out to you? Was there like a posting and you replied to them? Interesting. (laughs) This is this is recorded, huh? Okay. <laughs> well, typically that's historically that's how so podcasts we, have worked. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so they, had, they were having auditions, and uh, let's just say that uh, I didn't make it in the first round. Oh, and then we kind of circled back afterwards, and you know, kind of got a, a second chance, a second go at it, and. It just went really well. So I came back home. I I feel like, no, I know I I am where I need, I'm supposed to be. And Tono is home. That's wonderful. That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. It reminds me of like SNL auditions. There are so many SNL cast members that didn't get picked up the first time. And you don't stop. Yeah. You don't stop. It says it on your wall right there. (laughs) Come on now, baby. Come on. You got to remain consistent. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, I'm glad we came back around and made it happen. And it's like in this space, I I feel like there's just a lot of talented people. For sure. Talented and knowledgeable people. And just to have the opportunity is one that I don't take for granted. So I really love this company. I just love being here. I don't feel like I work at all. I also think it's a fascinating time in fitness and in regards to, I don't think people really get into the career path of personal training thinking that you will become widely known in the way that you can now Yeah, with, with products like Peloton and Tonal and things like that. Tom, I'm so glad you said that because this has been a 10 year journey, right? Yeah. And no one really starts off saying, I want to be a millionaire like that other trainer. It's not, yeah. it's not really for the money. It's really about the passion. And if you're fine with doing it out of the love, and of course you want to, you know, take care of yourself, but it really comes from a place of just true passion, desire, and love for this field. And I just feel like right now I'm just flourishing from the seeds that I planted 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, I can literally hear the birds chirping. Yeah. Like the birds are, they are cheering for you. <laughs> He's so happy those birds are animated. He's surrounded by cartoon birds. <laughs> They're going to start helping him get ready. Yeah. yeah. The, the, pos- the positivity comes with the gig. You know what I, I mean? love it's it. Like, guys, turn it down. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so, yeah. That's I'm amazing. Doing a I'm on a so, um, Don't make the yeah, birds mad. They, they fly over. Over you, but they, right? yeah. <laughs> so, oh, um, what uh, I'm curious with with Tono, when mm-hmm. you first like just you went to go do the audition, you got into it, mm-hmm. but like when did you get a chance to do your first workout? And I'm curious if you had like you like had to choose an instructor. Did you do a custom workout? Like, tell us how that went. Oh my gosh. Um, so the audition is nothing like the workout, right? Uh, let's, <laughs> just, let's just be honest. Yeah, you know, I'm like, oh, it's an easy gig. It's okay. Um, well, one of my very first workouts, 
and introduction like officially was actually with Woody. And she kind of just showed me the ropes in person. And then it was like, okay, now you have to experience it uh, from the user point of view. Um, come on, guys. I've been lifting forever in a day. This is easy. I hit that little button. Boop. The weight <laughs> goes into my hand. Boop. The time is fast forward. And it is the, the, the way that they were able to create or duplicate the sensation of having weights in that huge iPad over there mm-hmm. is just, it's mind blowing. And then secondly, it just holds you accountable, right? Um, I'm notorious of it when I'm training by myself. I may miscount and do a little bit less than I was supposed to. I may grab a lighter weight because ah, my body's talking to me and I'm just listening. No, there's no way you can hide <laughs> on that machine. <laughs> there's nowhere to go. So with them tracking my rest, tracking the time, tracking the sets, it was just really a complete efficient workout, whether I liked it or not. And I was pleasantly surprised. So there was definitely a learning curve to the tonal verse is what we like to call it. And uh, again, I don't care how long you've been training. Uh, this is definitely a different world within itself. And it was just phenomenal. And Woody kicked my butt. Like I still have like a little PTSD every time I see it. I can't. Hey, hey, Woody. You stay over there. Right? <laughs> so. and she's, she's so sweet and pleasant. And then she like smiles oh. as she kicks your ass. Like just, it's she's just the sweetest smile. She's like this, a little box of muscle. There's a lot in there. You know? <laughs> That's, that is accurate. There's a lot in there. You know, it's yeah, funny when yeah. you talk about like not having to count your reps and things like that. I've never worked out on anything other than a tonal. Like, I, like, yeah, yeah, he didn't. He didn't start working out at all. That came until, until he, Tom, he was fifty years old. Yeah. Tom, you, first of all, you're ruined because if that's your first impression, <laughs> if that's your first exposure, it's all downhill from here. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. You have to again counting your reps. It's it's a it's a pretty big deal, man. I can and also tell picking your weight because there are it's, times when I'm doing the reps and I was like, oh bullshit. I got to be at right? 15 by now. I turn around. I'm like, seven. Absolutely. Yes. Seven. <laughs> Is that metric counting? You're exactly. Doing it exactly. <laughs> exactly. So you're, you're ruined, man. There really is no place to hide. And you had that freedom to not have to think about that. Right. Yeah. I think the hardest part about showing up is simply showing up. I did the hard part. Let the rest be easy. Count for me. Guide me. Take me through this. Like thing, pick right? my weights. Yeah. Like I, yes. I can't imagine like I, the, the float charts people had to keep and the little mm-hmm. diaries where you like, yeah. okay, I did 15 last week at, and I had this many pounds and now I got to add pounds, but like now yeah, do I yeah. add by five or do I add? I don't need homework. Ugh. I, right, I always, right? I always stunk at, at, at weightlifting when I would try it because I was never consistent because I try it. It was just too overwhelming. It's just too much. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, yeah. oh, I don't know what I'm doing. So, I just kind of exactly. I would always give up now that I know all that I'm like why were the guys in the football team always bad at math <laughs> <laughs> what is that about? they wasted all the math juice yeah. in the gym there you, you know go. how much that they had to do <laughs> they had it they just used it in a different place you know <laughs> I think you're right so what is your favorite part of being a coach at Tonal oh my gosh my favorite part about being a coach at Tonal is being a part of the future right just being a part of the next wave i um this industry as we said before is forever evolving it's forever changing it's very different from the days of the notepads and the football field it's now it's 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 different from just doing cardio like it's it really is a future in a sense of it being an extension of you uh as you guys know as you guys both have trained on tonal crystal and tom it's one machine but it's a different experience for the both of you absolutely for sure yeah you, you know what I mean? And it's ideally as a trainer and someone who's passionate about this field, you want to train as many people as you can, as often as you can. So I've got the best sidekick or colleague in the world. You know what I mean? So I just really feel like the possibilities are endless as far as how much you can help people and how many people and how well. So that's the best part of being a coach at home. I love that. Being a part of the evolution. So I know that you have a workout challenge coming up, and I believe it is the first ever (laughs) summer challenge. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that. Well, I would love to take full credit 
for this summer challenge, <laughs> this very first ever summer challenge. But I have to be honest with you guys, it's actually a, a combination. It is a group effort with a lot of the coaches on the team. So it's four days a week. It's uh, it's over the course of four weeks. And we have a upper body portion and we also have a lower body portion. Both of them are separate. You can do both of them to complement one another, whatever your goals are, whatever your focus may be. And it really is a lot of fun with the variety of coaches you i think it just you never get bored you never feel like you're watching the same show every day we all use the same machine we you know have the same library of moves but the way that we introduce it and the way that we we apply it is going to be very unique to who we are you're going to get woody on some days joe on another you're going to get sergeant t on another day and that's some crazy guy named akeem that they hired which i don't understand why but <laughs> also you know at why. a level <laughs> at a level it's also intermediate and the beauty about being intermediate, right, is that no one gets left out. If you are advanced, and you can either increase the weight, increase the time, or you can even modify some movements. If you are a beginner, you can go at your pace, you know, kind of just modify as well. So this being our very first ever <laughs> um, Summer Shred program, it really is a really cool opportunity to meet the coaches, uh, to kick it up a notch. And as far as the timing goes, right, we're off the cusp of that New Year's resolution. So we're in that first quarter. How do we keep that momentum going? Absolutely. Well, here's another program that you can add on to it, right? Well, I haven't worked out all year and I keen to the season. What do I do? Well, Tonal, we've got you. <laughs> we have this great <laughs> one week challenge, which comes out on um, June 5th. So it's just at the perfect time with the, the perfect partners. And it's uh, something that we're really, really excited about. That's awesome. Okay, so I hear it's called Four Weeks Sculpt and Shred. Is that accurate? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, right. yes. So now, what exactly, how is it structured? Because I heard you saying things I'm not familiar with in the, as you call it, tonal verse. So, uh, so <laughs> I, I hear there's multiple, um, when you're saying there's multiple instructors, I get that. That makes mm -hmm. sense to me. But you mentioned mm -hmm. something about like, there's going to be upper body focus or a lower body focus. Tell me more about like how it's structured. Well, they're, they're kind of separate, right? We have a lower body skull portion and then we have an upper body shred portion. Oh. And one of the uh, modalities that we use is a German body composition training where we go upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body, because we don't want to actually fatigue you to the point where you cannot move or accomplish the move or the exercise. Right. So with that application, we're keeping your heart rate up while still strengthening your muscles at the same time. We also spend a lot of time in the hypertrophy zone, whereas the reps are higher. So this way you're not super fatigued right out the gate, but we are building that muscle endurance and again, sculpting with every rep. Okay. So does that mean that mm -hmm. like within one day's workout, you're toggling back and forth between lower and upper? It's not like one day, one day of lower, one day of so, upper? So in that, it will be a main focus. But then think of it as an active recovery. Like okay. even though it may be a lower body day, but we're going to squeeze in some bent over rows. This way is your lower body gets to rest, but we're still keeping that heart rate up because you're still training in real time. Gotcha. Okay. 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 Is right? it so if we were to bring it out in ratio, it's sort of like 70, 30. So we're doing 70% focus on the lower body, those hamstrings, the glutes, your posterior chain. That's why you have that bent over row, all of those muscles in the back. Whereas on an upper body day, we might just squeeze in some jumping squats to give your upper body that rest. So therefore, you can do the next exercise. But right here, we're still keeping that heart rate up and allowing you to still train. Real time. OK, Them Germans are all about yeah. efficiency. I know. I love it. Let's, <laughs> make, they make great cars and great bodies. <laughs> <laughs> is it so how many days a week is it? Is it is it four days a week? Three it's going to be four days a week, okay. four days a week for four weeks. Mm -hmm. All right. And so you mm -hmm. said this is good for all levels. So is there anybody that like should not participate in this workout challenge or is it like everybody should participate in this challenge? I think that everyone should definitely uh, participate in this challenge <laughs> because let's be honest too. I think that uh, oftentimes we do what we want to do rather than what we have to do. So I know we talk about that 70, 30 split. You may just be, you know, biased to training an upper body and, Oh, is it like day again? <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> you can't you can't really hide. It keeps you on track. It gives you that guidance. And this way, again, all we're covering all bases. So I do think that this is for everyone. And it kind of gets you out of your way, gets you out of your groove, and gives you the opportunity to 
to train. And we want you to train hard so you can play hard. You know, it's the season to go outside, to have a great time, to live your life. And the best way to live the life that we have is to be healthy. So that's the, the beauty of this program. And it is for everyone once again. Okay. I think that's- Being one, at an intermediate level. I think that's one of the things that I, I think Tonal, for me anyway, really helps me with is that I think if I was doing this without Tonal, I would totally do things like skip leg day, but when it's when it's the next day in the program, I there's too much shame in hitting skip. <laughs> I can't I can't bring myself to do it. Where like if, if I'm just I'm going good. into a gym by myself, I could be like, maybe what I think I did just do that. Oh. I, I'm okay, and nobody uh, knows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Tom, you're, you're an honest man. And we appreciate you. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> a lot of TLC goes into each one of these workouts, so please go ahead and do it like that. You know, um, and again, we talked about having that option or that autonomy. Sometimes it's too much, right? Like Tonal really holds you accountable every step of the way. Oh, I I love that they hold you accountable. And you said, I just want to clarify for people, you said this is going to launch on June 5th, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, I, yes, it is. Live on the trainer, June 5th. Yes. Tap in. I love it. I love it. I uh, I remember hearing that from a little birdie at Tonal that there is going to be a special offer starting soon that if uh, you order your tonal now you get free delivery mm-hmm. and installation and you don't even have to enter a coupon code to get that like if you order starting i believe it was may 1st through may 22nd automatically you get uh that free delivery and installation and if you were to order right away you could get it in time to do this challenge with you how amazing would that be exactly exactly <laughs> we are just trying to make it easy for any and everyone even if you don't have a tone on just to reiterate again from may 1st to may 22nd free delivery we get it installed and your first workout could be this new program I love that. Just in time. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving. Come on, Tim. Let's go. It's, 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 it's Christmas in the middle of spring. Let's go. <laughs> so you have uh, you have another program that's getting ready to launch on May 8th, correct? Ooh, yes. You guys did your homework. I like it. Heavy hitters is what we like to call it. We have the heavy hitters program. And it is, uh, how can I say this? It's it's a it's a it's a challenge. It's a lot of fun. And here's why. Okay. So it's gonna be four days a week and uh we are going on two days, then you get a rest day, on another two days, and then you get two rest days. So if you're starting off on a Monday, you train Monday, Tuesday, you're off on Wednesday. Come back again Thursday, Friday, enjoy your weekend. Let's do it again for four weeks. Um in the program you're gonna see certain things like wave loading. So when it comes to strength training, there's a difference. We talked about hypertrophy earlier. When it comes to strength training, you're going to be exploring the lower rep ranges, uh, first and foremost. So anywhere from five to eight reps. But our bodies are built to adapt. And there has always been the classic five by five, right? So with wave loading, we're actually going to go high, low reps, high reps, low reps. We're kind of staying in that rep range. So this way you are constantly having to put in that concerted effort for you to just not get comfortable, for you not to adapt 1000%. We are keeping you in that wave to keep you growing and building throughout the program. Another one that we use is a a pyramid as well. I like this a lot because I'm a glutton for punishment. (laughs) So just bear with me here. There's a lot of numbers I'm going to throw you away. Just imagine um, the rep scheme goes five reps, 10 reps, 15 reps. Yeah. Those then are the it worst. goes back to 10. Then it goes back to five. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, this is the, the biggest pyramid that I did not sign up for. So uh, the beauty with that is that the rain, the weight does not remain consistent. In that lower rep range, you're going to have the heavier weight. And as we increase, we drop the weight. So in theory, it may seem that it's getting, it's easier, but you're still staying at that threshold where you're getting out of your comfort zone. Because even though we're decreasing the weight, we're increasing the reps. So at the same time, we're building strength and muscle endurance. Uh, it's this really beautiful method to the madness. And hitters is actually spelled with two eyes because we incorporate some high intensity as well. Within the four days, you have two days of strength training and two days of high intensity training. Because oh, so the it's the worst of both of worlds. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to lead with that. I was trying to, you know, stay away from that. But it is the, the best of both, of both worlds. Because, again, we try to cover all bases, right? And trying to make us the strongest athletes that we can be. 
If you'd like to, again, a little bias to strength, like you only lift heavy and you don't do the conditioning, you don't do the high intensity, like you can't hide on our watch. We got you, baby. All right? <laughs> yeah, and even though those are super challenging, like that's, again, mm-hmm. I, that's what I love about Tonal is like, then you don't have to think about it. We as members just get to show up and do the work. And as long as you do the work, you're going to see the results. And that's that's yeah. that's the best part. I like, like not thinking. I know. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan. And, and, yeah. And we, we talked about like German body composition. We talk about hypertrophy. We talk about these rep ranges. There's so much science and a method to the madness to every single program and every single workout that we do. And these are things that we would probably never think of. We understand three sets of 10. Okay, great. We understand five by five. Okay, great. But as humans, we are built to adapt. And also it's, I think that's why a lot of people stop training sometimes because it isn't mentally stimulating because we are a little bored because we want to do the same thing again for the 28th day in a row. So uh, applying that variety, but still having a method to the madness, I think is key. So even just to circle back, what do I love about being a coach on Tono is just the level of creativity and evolution. It's again, the gift that keeps on giving. So on that note, what did you like most about creating this specific program? Uh, uh, I think, and, and the people that I've trained, when you think of Akeem, you think of cardio or high intensity. Uh, <laughs> and what was really fun and challenging about this was kind of switching gears into that strength space, um, kind of like coaching to that lower rep range and just kind of getting people getting comfortable being uncomfortable. I think it's very easy for us to knock out a lot of reps or kind of just use the lighter weights. It could be a little intimidating to lift I can, I can, you're telling me I can only lift this five times or I only should lift this five times. That's a very uncomfortable weight. That's a, that's like uncharted territory for a lot of people. Um, so I had a lot of fun just kind of ushering those into this new strength space. And that's what I loved about creating this program. I love that. And what about like taking different tonal programs like back to back? So we've got heavy hitters. Would it make sense to like do another program right after that or right before it? Or, or do you need to take recovery after this type of program? Well, that, I'm glad you, you mentioned that word recovery because you notice that a lot of these programs are either four times a week, sometimes five, sometimes three. And we also factor in those recovery days. We have mobility workouts. We have days where you literally do nothing because the body needs to rest in order to do your best. So as far as doing these programs back to back, I'll break it down to you like this. Every building that we see has a similar foundation. And that same theory applies to fitness. There's a similar foundation, even though the uh, even though the build might be different, at the end of the day, the foundation remains the same. So what we have is just creating a calendar or consistency and a method to the madness. So there's every four weeks, every month, you just have a new program, which gets you excited, which gets you inspired. Like, okay, this month I'm going to be working on strength. This month I'm going to be working on sculpting. This month I'm going to be doing this. And even though it may seem like a variety, what are you doing consistently? You're training. You're getting outside of your comfort zone. You're lifting heavy weight. You're going hypertrophy. You're working on your core. It's mobility. So I, it's not should we do programs back to back. It's you should be doing programs. <laughs> <laughs> See, I I only do programs. Yeah, that's true. I, I don't do one offs. So it goes back to I don't like to think, and so mm-hmm. I don't want to. I, I feel like if I come down and stare at that machine. I'm going to be like, do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? I'm going to spend 20 minutes doing that. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to be like, well, now mm-hmm. I don't have time. So I, I like to just go down, hit the button and go. And he even picks and his next program. Like the second he finishes a I program, pick the next he one. picks the next one. So it's already ready to go when yeah. he walks down there. I, I think yeah. it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. I mean, we, we have our, we have our reoccurring bills. We have our lights now. We have all of these things that we just do consistently where it comes a part of our lifestyle. And I think that's what these programs secretly are, is just building a tonal lifestyle. It's four weeks. You set a goal. You know what you're doing. Hey, let's do it again. I, I feel really good. I look even better. Let's keep up that momentum. So, see, yeah. Yeah. See, I've been now I've, I haven't heard that phrase before. German body composition. Yeah. I got to get me one of those right now. I'm more of a hobbit <laughs> body composition. <laughs> <laughs> Lord of the Rings was a, it was a classic for many years. So I think that. I think you're on to something. Tom. I think the Hobbit is a is a is a desirable 
Composition. Wow, wow! You you are a salesman, sir. You they did, live a you, long time, <laughs> and they get they have second breakfast. I, I mean, One that more. is true. And they're reliable. Yeah, you know? they are reliable. Everyone needs a hobbit in their life. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I uh, I also wanted to circle back uh, to you. You were mm-hmm. talking about how like people love to get outside during the summer and do things. Do you have like a favorite thing you're looking forward to this summer that you get to do? Oh, I reinstated my city bike uh, membership yesterday. I, <laughs> in New York, real estate is not best friend, so I don't own a bike. But I do love to be outside as much as possible. So I'm the guy who's singing at the top of his lungs, riding a city bike down the uh, whatever avenue it may be. So that is one of my my favorite uh, summer pastimes. If it's uh, a scooter, a bike, anything like that, you know, just kind of two birds, one stone. Like I get to stay in shape and I get to be outside. So that's a great time. And my recent love as of last year has been pickleball. And they just opened up a lot of courts here in New York. So uh, let's go. <laughs> that is what... So for those of us. That is, in... that is what I'm looking forward to the most. For those of us in flyover country, what the city bike, is that like you, you just, you pay a fee and you can just grab up. There's just bikes sitting around on the street corner. Oh no! So that's so I've seen those with the scooters. I don't. That's a really crazy system. We have these docks at designated areas, so you can just open up the app on your phone. You can find the nearest dock to you. Uh, you simply scan the QR code. It unlocks the dock, so then you can take out the bike. And there's docks all over the city. I mean, literally all over the city. So whether you're going two blocks, ten blocks, or a hundred blocks, you can um, just rent out the city bike for that that moment that's that's really cool although yeah. i have to say yeah. um new york city traffic is terrifying yeah. i cannot believe that you feel confident like i i mean i see people do it when we're there but like mm-hmm. i'm always just mm-hmm. like how 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 are you confident to do that like there's so much traffic i can't tell you how many times i've almost been hit by a bike because i'm getting out of a car I and i don't look both ways before yeah. i get out of the car <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're rebels um in the bike lanes <laughs> everyone one in New York, it doesn't matter the day or the time. It's always like you're going somewhere and we're always late. So with that being said, you know, some people are going to break the rules, but we have a lot of bike lanes here in the city um, to guarantee safety. So, you know, look twice, ring twice and have fun. I love Go that. <laughs> I love that yeah. you're safe. Thank you for being safe. Now, I'm trying to remember. I, re- I read your bio bef- uh, before you were you you were hit by a vehicle, right? Am I getting that mixed up? Ooh. Yes, yes. All right, yeah, sir. Was. We, she we, was hit by a car like two. Like, not, it's been just, it's been a, it's been 11 weeks yeah. today or on Sunday, 11 weeks. Yeah. yeah, that's yesterday and getting hit time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Are you OK? I, I, I am. I'm very, very lucky. I broke my collarbone. I had terrible road rash. I have a concussion. You can still see a little bit of my concut like where it hit um, there. And Almost um, tore your ear off. Yeah. My ear was pretty awful. And um Besides that, oh, there were three broken pieces in my uh, spinal cord, but like the part that goes out, not the cord, the just the column. <sighs> and um, they said they weren't important bones yeah, in your back. Yeah, so I I, like, I'm just going um, with that, you not know, a medical like, professional, but <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm the bedside manner. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I mean, at that at that point, at that point, they were like, "Oh, you don't have any brain bleeds, and your spinal cord is fine." So, really, that's all I kind of cared about at that point. Like, okay, I'm gonna be able to walk, and I I'm gonna be able to live. Like, those were my two. And and you probably get that feeling. Um, you probably understand that. And I uh, I was really excited to talk to you about that because I feel like. I feel like there's it's it's very difficult to understand the the trauma involved and like I am terrified of cars so like when I picture you out there on a bike in New York I'm like my heart starts pounding like I just I can't even imagine that you're out there on a bike when you got hit how how are you doing that uh, well to end, I'll work backwards because I have a hundred <laughs> questions for you too <laughs> so the way that I'm able to do it is that after I got hit by a car I just had a, a different perspective on life altogether so I do firmly believe that life is meant to be lived and I can't live it in fear so of course the first couple times I got on the bike I was nervous I was anxious um but I kind of just built up the confidence to where I am now where I'm like I, I can't wait to ride again you know what I mean yeah. I think that 
you, in, in that fork in the road after an incident like that, you can veer this way. Like, I'm never going back outside. I'm, I'm looking both ways three times. I'm never riding a bike, you know, or it's the, wow, that happened. I'm still here. Life is pretty short. It could be taken away and you just never know what could happen. So I'm going to live my life to the fullest until the very last day. And if that's riding my bike to work and showing up sweaty, well, then they're going to have to buy me some deodorant because this is going to happen. <laughs> 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 I'm not stopping. <laughs> so, uh, yes, yeah, so that is how I'm still able to do it. I'm just super careful. And I, I don't take any any part of my life for granted. That's why I'm always in a great mood. You know what I mean? If it's a busy day, a bad week, whatever the case may be, it just really shifted my perspective. So I'm probably the most one of the most positive people you ever meet in your life. It'll be storming, raining, there's a leak in the ceiling. I came with that. you okay? Yep. You know, let's get in a little a little shower. You know, it's gonna be extra clean tomorrow, you know what I mean? <laughs> um and yeah, so I think that was the last question you answered. I'm sorry. That's no, no, no you're that, fine. I really appreciate you, yeah, you yeah. saying all that. Thank you. That's that's something yeah. I will try to incorporate. Uh, I I had had kind of a traumatic experience when I was younger too, where I I focused on like life is super short, and now I feel like it has morphed in me personally of being like life is short, but also I've never had anything that traumatic happen, and now I'm terrified it's going to happen again. That's where I am at the moment. So like crossing a <laughs> yeah. street right now, like every time I cross the street, I'm like, <sighs> like it's it's like true panic every time I do it, and it's it's uh it's um, really tough, and I'm hoping that gets better. I'm seeing a therapist doing emdr all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff and i'm i'm hopeful that it, it gets better so yeah and uh I, that chapter of my life was so long ago it was over 10 years ago when i got hit by a car and i didn't tell you that well you didn't ask but uh originally i went to school for restaurant and hotel management and that was my passion like i always thought that one day i will have my own restaurant i used to love getting people fat and drunk like that was my thing you know <laughs> we could have a great time you know i'm always part of the celebration and it was after i got hit by a car that the kind of the shift in the career path happened like this positive happy go lucky if you may didn't happen overnight like right after the accident that i was fearful i was traumatized i even crossing the street to go to pt felt like an adventure if you may um so that I, that really is a thing but this is just me so many years afterwards um with a new mindset with a new career with a new appreciation and lust for life so take your time but I, I would say that like take your time don't rush for, don't let anyone else rush your process whether that's physically emotionally or mentally crystal i'm just glad that you're still here. I know Tom is glad you're still here. This this could have been a very different episode. Absolutely. This could have been a very different time. Um, so let's just, there's so many silver linings and life is short, but it's it's quality over quantity, right? Yes. Like let's live this thing to the fullest. And that's that. That's my TED talk as far as I go. <laughs> so I'm just curious, did your love of fitness grow out of the physical therapy or were you in, or were you into fitness before that? So I been run, running track and field my entire life. And after college, it was more career based, right? Like it was like, okay, I gotta stop. I am, I wanna, I gotta pay the bill. This is what I really like to do. You know, you know, we start to do the things that we have to do. Sure. And um, I never really saw a career path for fitness or going to the Olympics wasn't um, on the agenda anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I, yeah, I was just really, dead set on the restaurant industry. I've been doing that for a very long time. Just wanted to take it to the next level. And after getting hit by a car and after going to PT and after getting the joy or gift of running, taking away from you, it, it, it it does something to you, right? You just have a new level of appreciation for it when you can walk again, when you can run again. And then it just shifted my perspective because again, it was at a time where there was no tonal or peloton or all, all of these apps it wasn't it wasn't that thing so i got into it because oh we, we're getting deep i got into it because um there's a lot of people who are feel who feel like they got dealt a hand and that's just the game that they got to play i'm out of shape i feel bad a lot of the times and this is just the way that i i have to live what fitness showed me is that we all have the capability and possibility of change and that's powerful um, and every day is a new opportunity. I think sometimes we just don't understand the route 
We don't know how to get there. We don't know where to begin. So that's why you come to someone in a very vulnerable state and invest in a trainer. You invest in a piece of machine. You invest in some type of technology because you are the, when I see that happen, it's like, it's, that's that person at the most for us to ask for help is so hard for a lot of people. You're, you're really entrusting someone to take you out of the place where you are to take you to where you need to be. And after PT and after that experience, like, I feel like that Akeem died and then this new one was born. And he's, uh, he's a really great guy. <laughs> and if I could change and if, if I, I can do this, and I can live like this and, and move like this and think like this. I can help a lot of other people do it too, you know? So we're, we're capable of change. And again, I'm just, we only have one life. A lot of people are quietly unhappy, depressed, sad, uh, insecure, but that can change if you trust the process. I love that. Thank Absolutely. you so much for sharing that. Thank you. For sure. I didn't think we were going to get there, but yeah, that's. <laughs> it's, we sneak um, up on no, you. No, no problem. It does, right? <laughs> yeah. Again, I, Crystal, I get like you getting hit by that car, like, right? It, it triggered this part. So I'm, I'm glad that we got there, though, because it's so much bigger than the muscles. It's so much bigger than the aesthetics. It's about life. Right? Yes. And, and to circle back to this summer program, uh, tis the season where everyone, I feel like, universally is having a good time. We're going out there to, to do the things that we love. And oftentimes fitness gets gets pushed to the wayside, but you can't do anything, whether it's work or life or fun, if you're not healthy. Yeah. So you don't have to think about it. Just show up, click on the program and live better. And I will also say, just wrapping this up, is part of the reason she recuperated as quickly as she did was precisely because of the frequency of her exercise. She had a had a head start on yeah. recovery mm -hmm. due to that so yeah. absolutely training training builds you know bone density it keeps you more conditioned it gets clearly it gives you extra bones that you don't need <laughs> <laughs> they're not important they're that not muscle, important. that resilient you know that it, it, it all practice in like i i hate to sound like it but training really isn't an option it's a necessity yeah, I agree. The 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 older we get, the more the more we we really see the the value in that. And strength training in particular, like it will make you live longer, it will make you more mobile longer and mm -hmm. and of course it will help keep you uh with your your weight in check and as we get older, all the studies the studies show that hey, you're gonna gain weight if you don't actively work against it. So, so yeah, absolutely. Strength training is is key. It's the fountain of youth. Yeah, and ev every time she says older, she looks at me. <laughs> so, it was just a little glance. You yeah, weren't supposed but to I notice. Saw it. I saw it. It's, it's, it's the glance of admiration. That's it's like, right. Sure. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> you are a positive oh, yeah. person. It is. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> well, Akeem, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been a lot of fun. It has. Uh, before we oh. let you go, uh, mm -hmm. let everybody know where they can find you in all the places. Okay. Uh, my name is Akeem Emmons, AKA Ak Don't Stop on all platforms. <laughs> and uh, I am the newest trainer and coach on Tonal. And if you are curious, if you are on the fence about it, if you are intimidated, let me tell you this. Look me in the eyes right here, right now. Tonal is an extension of you. All right. This isn't a, a compact gym to make you feel comfortable or beat you down so you can't get back up. Absolutely not. We start off with an assessment. So Tonal gets to learn where you are. And then every workout and every day and everything that you ever do, we document it. And with that data, we give you the next best workout. We give you the next best program and we go at your pace, understanding that life be life in. <laughs> things happen <laughs> and you can also crank it up you can bring it down but understand that this trainer is designed for you yes my name is Akeem I'm in AKA I don't stop uh, Crystal Tom you guys are rock stars we gotta we gotta chat after this zoom all right <laughs> and, uh, absolutely absolutely <laughs> stay tuned for the programs baby uh, June 5th May 8th all of the above stay with it don't stop thank you guys thank you thank you
So I guess that brings this episode to a close. But before we let you go, we should probably put a little asterisk on the conversation we just had. Yeah. So uh, first of all, Coach Akeem, he's just amazing. Yeah, that was fun. God, what a great guy. And um, okay, so we're talking about the Fast Track Challenge that is starting June 5th. Uh, You can, between May 2nd and May 22nd, get that automatic free delivery, free setup from Tonal. You don't have to do anything. No, no code to put in. But you cannot use our typical code for the clip out. However, if you hear this after May 22nd and you're interested in getting a Tonal, then you can go use the clip out code, put it in your cart, and then you will be able to save $100 off of your purchase. Yes. Um, so if you have any questions about that or the fast, the four-week fast track or even the hit, uh, what is it, heavy hitters program, happy to answer any of that. And I know Coach Akeem would be as well. Absolutely. So uh, I guess that brings this one to a close. Until next time, where can people find you? People can find me on Facebook at Crystal D. O'Keefe. Uh, Facebook.com slash Are you, are you asking us or are you telling us? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get around to telling you. Facebook.com slash Crystal D. O'Keefe. Uh, you can find me also on Twitter and the Tonal Leaderboard at Clip Out Crystal. And you can find me on Twitter at Roger Kubert or on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Tom O'Keefe. You can find the show online at Facebook.com slash Superset Podcast. And of course, don't forget, you can watch all of these on YouTube at YouTube.com slash The Clip Out. So that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, Time, keep lifting. Smart panel, smart bar, smart trainer, there you are, customized, make it right, AI, form and vibe, super set, we'll show you what it's all about, it's a tonal workout. The Superset is made possible in part by support from Tonal.